Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. Hey, we on Lake Murray this morning. We hadn't been in about two days. It's been rough weather, windy, cold conditions, and it's about uh, 28 degrees this morning. But it's up into the morning a little bit, about 9 o'clock. I'm waiting a little later to come. But we are going to go out and try to catch some more of them stripers and uh, perch. I don't know if I hit the crappies or not. These cold fronts affects them so bad. But uh, I'm, I'm going to try the crappies, I mean, the white perch and stripers. With a three rig Charlie Brewer, same old thing. Hey, we're just going on another fishing trip, loving life and taking advantage of life on a beautiful morning here. It's uh, Thursday morning, and I talked with Richard. I supposedly he's on the way up here Sunday or Monday. So hopefully, we'll do some video with Richard Jane, the fishing machine, next week. And that is going to be a blast. We called it off this week because of the weather. The wind is so bad, and then it got real cold. Hopefully next week will be more moderate. I think the high's in the 50s, and we'll have a good week. Love and life with the crazy, crazy Richard Jane, the fishing machine. Uh, I can't wait. I'm going to cook him a steak and see if he likes South Carolina cooking. I might fry him a fish. We don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to have a good time. Love and life, being together. Two YouTube fellas that just love to fish. Hey, let's go fish and give you a ride out. Thank God for another day, and thanks, uh, bless all of you folks out there, and uh, and hope you have a great day. Let's go fish. Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray here this morning. Sun's already up high. It's probably going on 10 o'clock. We just got our second fish of the day. A nice white perch. We're going to drop them back down see if we can catch another one. They're out here. I'm trying to find them out in a little deeper water. We started up to 35 foot. We had 47. Caught one. So we don't know what's going to happen. Now, I got my GoPro right now on the uh, fish finder. You see a uh, couple of fish coming in down there. And uh, what we're gonna try to do is uh, give you a couple of shots of the GoPro and and uh, and also of me off and on. See if that'll work. Appreciate y'all being with me on another episode of Loving Life. And uh, we are uh, gonna try to catch us a couple. We got a, got a nice one on right now, huh? Oh my! 
Yes, sir. We got a nice one on right now. Maybe two, three. I don't know. All I know is he's pulling. You'll see a few fish on that fish finder right there. Uh, as I'm bringing them in, we got two at a time, and they've jumbos too. Look at that. Jumbo magnums. That's what we're talking about, folks. That's what it's all about. Catching jumbo magnums uh, two and three at a time. We're using the three rig Charlie Brewer rig this morning. Hey, we got the two and an eighth inch swimming minnows on the two top jigs, and we got a uh, three inch swimming minnow on the bottom jig. And that's what we're using today. And I'll show it to you before we drop it back out. I'm using a uh, one eighth ounce Arca head. And then we got a quarter ounce head at the top. See that quarter ounce head right there? And uh, a two and eighth inch swimming minnow. Then we got an Arca head with an eighth ounce head. And then we got a lead. And we're going down to a uh, three inch uh, uh, Charlie Brewer with a quarter ounce head. We got two quarter ounce heads and one eighth ounce head on today so far. But we started up shallow, couldn't do much. I'm, I dropped off in the deep side and we we're starting to catch a couple. These bigger perches on the side of these drops on these uh, contour lines basically leading to the main channel. That's what we're fishing. We in 48 foot of, <coughs> excuse me, of water right now. And, uh, and I'm gonna tap the boat along, see if we can stir something up. I, I, I'm, I do believe that that helps. Time. Not all the time, but you got to try it to see if it helps. I believe it causes these fish deep water that's what I think that's what I think but uh, hey we're gonna try to hey we got a few going we got a few going and uh, I'm using a uh, seven foot look at that little stripe we're using a seven foot uh, H2O <coughs> excuse me got a tickle in my throat H2O express rod this morning Hadn't been using, I put some 30-pound uh, braid on this one. It's equivalent to eight-pound monofilament for the size. And that's what we're using. It's that super slick braid. Hey, Giving folks, it a shot. I got another no. Got another jig on. I put a body grow on. See if they hit it. Let's see what we got him on. Got him on the bottom three-inch jig, a little striper. The doggone stripers aggravate you to death now. They love that three inch uh, slider brewer. They love it. I'm gonna drop it down. You see on the fish finder, we got a couple of stragglers. They ain't no cloud of fish. Clouds of fish is what I like. Uh, when I'm on them, you'll see them perch. They come up in clouds. Right now, it's just a little bit down the left screen on the bottom and a couple. That's the blown up portion. Uh, it's blown up four times bigger than the white right screen. So I always just look at the left screen because most of my fish is going to be down. Uh, the ones, there's a few stripers there off the bottom. You see a couple hooks, bigger fish. But you don't see any clouds of yellow right on the bottom. That yellow on the bottom is the bottom. Any purples or any dark colors on top of that is fish. And uh, we, there you go. See, you don't have to see them all the time to catch them. We got a nut on and you don't see anything much on the fish finder right now. That's a perch on the top jig. Drop it back out to the bottom. Oh, where the big girls lie. All right, we're in 42 foot. Bite. See us starting to see us some on the fish finder now. You see it on that left screen, you see them hooked right on the bottom, three or four, five fish. Well, that's stripers and perch, they, they won't hit it right now. And then purples right on that green, yellow, them fish. A few, not many. And when they get real thick, they'll come up as yellow. And when it starts getting big balls of yellow, then you know you got a lot of fish under. There's some up higher. There was a bite right there, boy, he's nailing it. <coughs> but I'm missing him. He ain't want to take it. Some out there. Oh, 
deal. We got him that time. Finally took it. Take our time, we might get another. If we take our time. Ain't no guarantee because there ain't a lot of them down there. They, they ain't a yellow bunch. Monticello a lot of times get real yellow. He hit the Monte Gras and he's too little. He's too little. We pull over on uh, another little ridge here. And I see a few fish out there, but they ain't, it's calm. They bumping at it and they ain't taking it. Up oh, there he goes. Finally got one to bite it. <laughs> we finally got another to bite it. They kind of, they kind of hard to catch this morning. Nice one though. You see that dog on big old metal. He hit. Uh, I caught him under the chin. He was done. Hey, we just got to figure out what they want. On these sleek, calm days, they look a little bit harder to catch. Hey, it's good videoing days, but it ain't that good catching days. Hey, folks, we moved uh, to another spot throughout. My, I think we got a striper off. No, we got a big old perch. My goodness, look at the size of that doggone perch. That, my friend, is a jumbo magnum. What? Look at the size of that doggone perch. That is a good one. Golly, I moved uh, where I caught him the other week. And uh, I don't see, I didn't see a thing on the bottom. Still don't see nothing on the bottom. But I caught a perch. Sometimes the fish will lay flat on the bottom and you won't see them. You can drive over them all day, you won't see them. And then boom, when you start fishing, you, they, you catch one. And then they stir up sometimes. Sometimes that might be a, it might be a fluke. Might not catch another. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna drop back down to the bottom where the big girls lie and see if we can get a nut to hit it. That is that three inch vanilla. And just keep working this thing in a circle, stirring the pot. <laughs> Not just pulling along on up and down the lake, stirring the one area and see if we can activate these fish and pull them in here. They'll come to you sometimes if you can activate them. They'll think something going on, like a school of shad running and going on. These three jigs just imitates a little school of shad. We're in 38 foot of water. We might have to go out deeper. Seems like most of the fish I've caught already this morning have been deeper. Look at a nut. There he goes. Oh, missed him. There's some down there, a lot of little ones, though. I can tell they're little. They ain't yellow. That, that might be a nice one. That might be a nice one. Oh, my. That might be a nice one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for right there, folks. Big old, big old white perch. That's the kind I read about in the perch magazine that I always talk about. Look at that. Uh-oh. Don't go. I'm about to drop him in the lake. Look at the size of that one. That's a nice one. Get it back down, see if we can get a nut. What y'all say? Back on. We got a had a knot. We back on the fish. Got a nut now. We got them down there. Look at a two perch at a time. Two perch at a time, folks. Two perch at a time. They down there, they just ain't a lot of whoppers. They down there. We just gotta try to catch them. They down there, I'll tell you that. A bunch of them. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, we got them going now. We got them going now. No doubt about that. That's a nice one right there. He's starting to bite now. Probably just try for what I'm getting. No, it ain't. Big old perch, three at a time. Look at that. Look at that, three at a time. White perch. Oh my goodness. Jumbo magnums, too. Look at the size of that perch. That's a big one, ain't it? Okay, day. That is a white, white perch. Man, oh, my. Gonna tow my jig up. We got to get another jig on. Stir them up, bring them in. There you see some coming. See that? See on that left screen? That's your fish coming in. Right there. I'm calling them up, beating the boat. That's what I'm doing. There he goes. See that? See, that's how you do it, folks. You call them in with your foot. 
and then they show up. You'll see them down there on the bottom, on that left screen. He ain't that big, but we got one. All right. I'm gonna drop back down and see if we can get another. Right there's a whole school of them. See them on the screen? Left screen. All them purples and yellows coming up, pretty good fish. The purples and yellows are. And we got purples and yellows. And that's what we're looking for with perch. The more purples and the more yellows in it, the bigger they are. And that's the way it works. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we can get one of them. See there? There he goes. Right on them. Right on them. That's some good ones, too. That's a good one right there. That might be a striper. I don't know what that is, but it's, it sure is a nice one if it's a perch. I can tell you that much. See, that's, look at that screen. Look at that screen, folks. Oh, my. Look at that screen. Hey, perch and striper. They all out there. Look at that screen. Look at that screen. Hey, they look at that screen. Huh? Let's drop back down. See if we get some more of them. We might be done fell into the mother load. These fish sometimes have times they bite, and times they don't bite. This morning, earlier, they just didn't bite. Now they're starting to stir up off the bottom. You can see right there what I'm talking about. And that's what we need, stirring them up off the bottom and reeling it up and catching them. All we got to do. Stay here. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Didn't take it. Let's drop it back down. Let's circle the boat. Circle swing it. Look at that cloud of fish right there. Look at that cloud of fish. Oh, my goodness. Huh, we ought to catch one this time. There he goes. What I'm talking about? They down there, buddy. They down there thick as hell on the dog's back and you see a screen looking like that. 44 foot fish everywhere. And they good ones. They good ones. They might be stripers. That right there's a nice fish. Unless I got him snag hooked. I got him snag hooked. See? That's what I'm talking about. Snag hooked. So he's down there. But we just snag hooked him. And getting that little guy out is going to be a problem. There he is. I told my jig, slam up. I told it to slam up. I see if we can rehook it. I don't know if we can or not. I'm about to tow it slam off the, off the hook. I'm about to tow it slam off the hook. The hood's all messed up too. Fish is down there. Now, what am I doing? Playing with jigs. That is not good. We need to drop it down there even if they're crooked. We ain't got time to straighten them up. Let's put it down. We got to get it going. We got to keep them going or they'll leave. 45 foot. Them fish are laying out here like stove wood. No question. We done found the mother load. What we done done here in the middle of the day. Mother load. All right. Let's see if we get another. Got him. Already took it. They down there. Hey, they down there and they killing it. They killing it. I can tell you that. They killing it. What? Oh, my. Ah, look at that. Huh? Three at a time, folks. I can't pick them up. I'm going to broke my rod. Three at a time. Look at that. Three at a time catching white perch. You got to love it. Huh? Lake Murray. Killing the white perch. On Lake Murray. I'm talking about killing them. You got the May hay. And hay's ready to make. Drop it down. Oh my, loving this. Loving this. We done found the mother load. Old place I used to fish years ago. Ain't fished in a long time. Well, they here. I can tell you that. They here. And we're going to come back to this place with Richard. I'm trying to scout for Richard. Richard's going to be a Sunday hope. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, Lord, he nailed it, and I missed him. I don't know how, but I missed him. All right. All right, let's get it going. There he goes. Oh, Lord, missed him again. They got him again. Oh, my. They're eating it up now. They're eating it up. We done found them. Look at the nice ones, too. Spitting up share. Spitting up share. They love these Charlie Brewer jigs, y'all. They just love them. Y'all ain't got you some Charlie Brewer jigs for white perch. You better get you some. That's all I got to say. Them jokers love them. There you go. Oh, Lord, I missed him. They down there, y'all. There's plenty of fish in here. There's 
plenty of fish in here. We got a boat lurking around us over there watching me. There's plenty of fish in here. You just catch them. Circle this boat and catch them. There you, there he goes, there he goes. See if we can get him nothing to hit it. There he goes. There he goes. Medium-sized white perch. This boat doesn't want to get where I'm at so bad he cannot stand it. We got to change jigs. We got to get another jig on. Let's turn back up. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. That fellow's about to break his neck looking at me. What he's trying to do. Put it back out. All we're doing is circle swinging on the side of a ridge. We don't got too shallow. I'm gonna drop back too shallow. Them fishing more off to the end of this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm in 33 foot. I was catching them at 40 something a while ago. We gotta get back off the drop. Them bigger ones are off the drop. Of course, they out here in 33 foot too, it looks like. So we get a nudding to take it. There goes a nudding. There goes a nudding. There goes a nudding. Oh my, there goes, uh oh, one just got off. We got two though. We got two. Got the love too. All right, drop it out to the bottom with a big girl's life. What, they still laying there. Y'all see them, they ain't stirred up like they was, but I, they will stir up. You put that jig down there because they're laying all over that bottom. They're laying all over that bottom. There he is. What I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. Laying all over that bottom. There he goes. There he goes. Little ones, babies. Babies. Fresh shad now, they're just starting to spit shad up. So catching them when they're feeding. 44 foot now. They fish a whole lot now. All we got to do is fish for them. I was, the big ones come through a while ago, now they gone. There you go. Oh, got off. They stirring up now. There you go. There he goes, the little ones. We done got into the babies. What happened to them jumbos? Must be running a school around here somewhere. Oh, we catching a little one now. That ain't good. Hey, I believe we're gonna have to put another jig on the bottom. That's what I'm thinking. I got to go get a haircut. I'm gonna have to leave in a minute. Too. I hate to have to go get a haircut now. But I got an appointment. We ain't caught a lot of fish. I'm just now finding the fish. Time to go home. What it is. Time we go home. Right there's a whole school of them. Right there. Yeah, right there. There he is. A little. They're just a little. 
unless the big ones are up. So I take my time pulling up. Maybe I get a bigger one on top. The other bigger one. He hit it way up yonder. That's what he's doing. They're hitting it way up yonder, the bigger ones. That's what's happening. Probably a striper. That's probably what he is. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. That's one striper and one perch. But it was a striper. A little perch, too. It was a striper. Get that dog on him, though. Up and down to the bottom where the big girls lie. Mm. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, that was a good one there. And nothing hit it. Nothing hit it on up. Nothing hit it on up. Little one. Little one. Baby. Got another jig on. We already got another fish on. Not a big one though. A little one. Babies. Babies. Let me get it back there. Get another. Boy, it's pretty day now. No doubt. Out of them, no, they ain't. We ain't got them. There you go. We ain't, ain't as many out there as it was. Man, it was a big screw out there for a little bit. There's no doubt about that. Big screw. There you go. 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 Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one. Put it back out so we can get another nice Much to him though. He's spitting up shad. They feed. That's what you want. You want to? Uh oh. We ain't got no jig tail on. Oh yeah, we do. Stuck. Fix the tail was broke off, but it wasn't. They tapering off. Them big ones are running by that sail. Them little ones are laying out here. Them big ones that come in there for a little bit, and I caught a few, and they left. Now we're catching the little ones. Unless we can come up slow. The other bigger ones. The bigger ones are hitting up, no doubt. They are hitting up. You got to take your time to pull it in to catch them big ones. And they could be per. I mean, no. Actually, it's a striper. That's all it was in the whole time. I thought I had a perch and a striper, but I didn't. I didn't. He hit the bigger jig, though. Them stripers like that bigger jig.
All right, let's get it back out to where the big girls lie. Hot now, it was cold as the devil earlier. I hate it when it's like that. You dress for the morning, then get something today, you gotta start peeling off clothes. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. See if we get a nut on there. See if we get a nut to come bite it. Might not. Might not, look at that, two at a time, a little small perch. When you pull them up from deep, that airbag sticking out their throat, they ain't gonna go back. You basically got to keep them, I, you can stick a, your hook in them. Might, might go back that way, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, the airbag. Them, ain't we? We're laying it to them. Oh, we laying it to them. I believe I got two or three this time. I believe I got two or three this time. My goodness. Look at that. Two. They ain't big. 